ice in Florida. Oh my gosh! What yet? did you do with the rest of the sectional? <laughs> Look at these two cuties. <gasps> Look at that face! Do you guys want cookies or do you not want cookies? <sighs> Somebody's swatting the bells. <laughs> Everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day Three. Day Three. <laughs> so before we get started with today, I want to sit down and show you guys something really fun, really exciting. So I'm gonna get you set up here with my lovely <laughs> handmade or not handmade, but um, self-made. What are those called? Tripods. Say hello to my tripod. All right, I'm gonna get you guys set right here with the cozy Christmas tree in the background. Give me a second, I'll be right back because I got something to show you guys. They're repurposing. Repurposing, that's right. So guys, we've been thinking about gifts, gifting, what to get our guys. I get asked this question all the time. What am I getting Larry? What am I getting my brother? What am I getting my dad? What am I getting grandpa? I don't know about you guys, but for me, gifting for my mom is so easy. Like I know what to get her for Larry. I struggle because Larry pretty much has everything and he's just hard to shop for. So I'm always getting him like socks or a pair of jeans. This year, however, I will be getting Larry a razor. Actually, this portion of the video is sponsored by Harry's. Thank you, Harry, so much for working with me and guys, Wait till you see these sets. They are seriously the cutest thing ever. If you are new or don't know what Harry's is or you're new to Harry's, it is a razor. So it comes in a really cute gift box or gift set so you really don't have to worry about wrapping it. You could literally just tie a little bow on there and you'll be good to go. So when you open it, looks like this. You get shaving cream. You get your razor in this super sleek, cute box. You pull it out. Oh my gosh. Can we take a minute? Yay, welcome to the focus camera. Okay, so this is what the razor looks like. It has weight to it, but it's not too heavy. So it's a really beautiful chrome. So it is a five blade razor, and then it has the nice little hydrating spot up here. And then it also comes with a case, so you can put your sharp part of the razor in it, and then it has a little vent here, which is nice, so it doesn't get all icky and whatever would happen to it if it was just sitting out. And it also comes with, in the gift box, you get two razors. So when your first one gets dull, you have two to go. So literally, it is just the perfect package to get for somebody. I know Larry would love it. Oh, and the shave cream, I didn't really go into detail. So it's with eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is one of my favorites. And as a special offer, we have partnered with Harry's to give you $5 off if you go to harrys.com backslash Mindy Banks. I'll have it written on the screen. I will have the direct link down below. So not only do you get $5 off your first order, you also get free shipping. And Harry's gives 1% back to organizations, to men, and to veterans, which is really nice for mental health to support them. If you order now, they do have the Winston holiday handle. You do have the option to engrave, which is really fun. So if you hurry up, you order now, you can get it engraved for that special somebody. Harry sets start as low as $15 and the razor refills start at $2. Very excited about Harry's and Harry's, thank you so much for reaching out and sponsoring this video. I know it's gonna make the perfect gift for my husband, Larry, and for my dad, for my brother for everybody. So again, Harry's, thank you so much. And don't forget, if you guys are interested, check them out down below. And don't forget to use my coupon code to get $5 off your first order. Oh my gosh, there's literally ice. Ice in Florida. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. And freeze again now. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we're in the car. 
and we are headed to go get mom on because I need to take her and Jack. Uh, Jack is her doggy. He's a little Maltese. I don't even think I'm in focus. There we go. Am I? Can't tell. I think I am. Anyways, we're taking Jack to PetSmart to get groomed for Christmas. So he's going to get a Christmas bow and he's going to be looking really cute and festive. So we need to get that done. Yeah, let's go get my mom. It is a freaking freezing. It is 39 degrees in Florida. 39 in Florida is cold. Y'all know. Woo, woo, woo. Ha! It's perfect though because I would not be happy if it was 83 degrees in Florida right now. I'd be a little sassy because that doesn't put me in the Christmas mood. When it's freezing, that puts me in the Christmas mood. All right, let's go. Okay, so I've just got to my parents' house, put the car in park, and look at this, 38 degrees popped up with a snowflake. This, this is. <laughs> I just have to document that moment because I'm loving it, I'm here for it. But Florida's like that state <laughs> that would be 80 degrees on Christmas day, but cold the whole month of December. So praying to the weather gods that Christmas day in Florida is freezing because 85 degrees on Christmas just ain't my style, you know? It's just not. So, all right. I'm going to go get my mom and Jack. Bye. So, we have my mom in the car, and here's little Jack. Hey, hi, Say hi Jack. Jack. So, we are going to get him groomed and beautified for Christmas, and he's going to be a cute little festive puppy. Yes, he is. Oh. You okay, Jack? <laughs> little Jack is so excited for the moment <laughs> until he realizes where we're going. But, anyways. We're here. We have come into Cracker Barrel, which is right by the PetSmart. My mom's favorite restaurant is Cracker Barrel. Oh, I don't have my mask on. <laughs> Gotta put that on first. Um, so yeah, we're having a little my mom, granddaughter morning date. Cinnamon latte sounds delicious. Might try that. So my mom and I are really excited because we have the perfect seat in the house. Like we pretty much have the whole place to ourselves. And I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys our view. The cinnamon latte, by the way, is super delicious. Definitely try it if you come to Cracker Barrel. There you go. Even my mom loves it, and, and she doesn't like coffee. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Scotch breakfast. I got the casserole, scrambled eggs, bacon, and two pancakes, but there's no way I'm gonna eat two. I'll eat one and then save the other one or give it to my mom. And then my mom got ham, scrambled eggs, casserole, gravy, and biscuits. Okay, we are at the house now, and I have my mom on the other side of the door because I want to film her reaction to seeing the tree. Okay, my mom, come in. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. Yeah, thanks. Very pretty. It's really tall, too. In case you guys are wondering, when I say that this was my grandmother's house, this was my mom's house yes, before Larry and I bought it. <laughs> yep, this is my mom's house. Oh, so and pretty. and here's Nuna, Nexi. How are you? My mom has met Lexi, but never Luna. Oh. Good girls. <laughs> How are you, sweetie? So cute. You? Oh, you, you've changed my sectional. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Changed my mom's sectional. Say hi, baby. You haven't been in today's vlog what yet. What do you do with the rest of the sectional? Uh, that little pie piece. Yeah. Once we move the colors. We're looking at the tree. My mom likes the tree. Yeah, I like the um, colors. And I don't uh, like all the white lights. What's this, your police badge on here? Um, it's kind of a generic one just for um, yeah, it's the nice. ornament. I almost feel like ever since we've done the white lights mixed with the colored lights, it looks better. Like you almost can't have just white now or just colored. Right. It's like it balances it perfectly. It looks really good. Very nice. And little Lexi's the perfect touch. Yes, she is. <laughs> Hi, Lexi. You look gorgeous under there. Yes, you do. Oh, look who's getting excited. Yes, you do. Are you going to say hi, Nuna? <laughs> say hi. I don't know that lady. <laughs> okay, Luna. Look at these two cuties. Good girl. You let my mom give you a kissy. Hi. Because Lexi has a little, so sweet. A little notch in her. <laughs> oh, what are those trucks, babe? When I get back, we're going to do your advent calendar. Bye, baby. I'll be right back. I'll be back and we'll do your advent calendar. Nice. Bye, Minky. Love you. I love you too. I see you when I get back. Yeah, you be safe. Will do. We're getting ready to head into PetSmart to go get Jack. He's all done. It took about two hours, 45 minutes. He's gonna look so cute, so handsome. And I gotta get the girls cat food. She looks so much prettier. <laughs> <laughs> so excited he is. So my mom's looking for a red collar for Jack for Christmas and I am currently grabbing the girls their food. I give them the wellness brand this is what I feed them so let's get that we just found this adorable collar and it has a little bell on it for a dog which is cute that way my mom knows where little Jack is all the time so this is the merry and bright festive dog collar okay. there you go <gasps> look Jack. at that face oh I am not seeing any festive kitty collars any what? Any festive kitty collars, I was just telling them. Oh, none at all? No, no festive cat collars, it's all doggy collars. Oh, Lucky for cool. you, little Rue, but no, it's not fair to the poor kitties. No, it's not. Poor kitties. The dog aisles are always more extravagant. <laughs> if you're a cat person, you know that's true. We're getting a little name tag engraved for Jack. just noticed what little Jack's collar says and it says nice ish which is very true okay so I am back at the house I've dropped off my mom I had such a lovely visit with her I hope you guys enjoyed the visit with my mom mom as well I don't get to see her as often as I would like because she lives up north in Maryland but when I reference my mom or my um my mom's mom that's my mom's mom but we call her my mom I don't call her grandma but Anyways, yeah, I am back home and I just got the girls advent calendars. So I am going to open those with you guys. Luna's being kind of pesty. She's um, taking a little nap, but she's not really sleeping. And she's kind of refusing the gum, but maybe she'll come once she hears that Lexi's getting cookies. Want cookies? Lexi, want your cookies? I'm not a good box shaker. <laughs> All right. Lexi. Here she comes. You want door number three? Oh, Lexi, you want cookies? 
Have you guys been doing advent? Oh, hello, Nuna. Have you been doing advent calendars with your pets? If so, let me know how it goes or how it's going. Also, let me know if you got the Aldi treats and how your pets like them. Um, I got a calendar for my mom and I guess Tyson, not having it. He does not like the cookies. That's sad, I know. <laughs> do you guys want cookies or do you not want cookies? Because actually if you're gonna be nasty and mean to your sister, you're not gonna get rewarded with treats. You have to share. All right. I'm gonna give them each one since you're still working on yours and then we'll just divide it up. Come here, babies. Yeah, good girls. Can you even see the kitties? <laughs> They're down here having cookies. Good girls. Okay. You got it? Finally. But you haven't even opened your box. To you. No, that's gonna be another <laughs> 10 minutes. Cue the SpongeBob. Five hours. Later. Later. Luna doesn't, I don't think she likes them. You don't like them, do you? You're not eating it. Lexi says I like them. Which is unusual. Yeah, I know, let me get you guys so you can see. Okay, that's better. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Luna. 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 Oh, and we knocked an ornament off. Come here, baby. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bop you right in the sun. Does Lexi not eat hers or, or she ate it? That's a new one. That's yeah, a new one. Go on, you know. not hers. Nope. She's more interested in the ornament. The ornament. Lexi, here. Go on. Are you guys not having it today? Uh oh. Well, this ain't going so well, is it? Well, she's sniffing this one. Here, we'll no, just... don't take your sisters. <laughs> Caring is sharing, and if we're not sharing, you're not caring, Lexi. Okay, cookie time is not going very well. You're not gonna have it? Cause if not, I'm gonna pick them up and put them in your bowls for you guys to munch on when you want them. We've got one kitty here looking with cookies, cookies, and we have another kitty under here. Um, I guess it's a no today on the cookies. Well, that's sad, I'm fine. Suit yourselves, because Larry and I are gonna have our own cookies with our own advent calendars. We're just gonna take these and we're gonna pop them in their food bowls. <laughs> Babe, you ready for our cookies? Absolutely. <laughs> Poor kitties, they don't like them. I don't understand. Makes me sad, because I want them to have just as a good time as we are having. Oh, almost punched in in day six. It's not day six. Not yet. After this, I'm gonna give you guys a Christmas tree tour. <laughs> so the Luna just bop her head. <laughs> I thought so. I heard a bop and then I heard you laugh. Um, it's kind of, Luna runs into things all the time. Larry gave me the idea that I should show you guys like a full on Christmas tree tour. Like show you every ornament that is on the tree. Well, I don't know about every one, but well most of them and like kind of explain where we got them if we remember or like the story behind them because we've added a lot from what i showed you that was our favorites yesterday in yesterday's vlog which was a brilliant idea so after this we're gonna head to the tree and we're gonna do a christmas tree tour you see us off in the distance grabbing stuff and hanging them on the tree and everything but you don't really get to see what it is that we're putting on the tree that's true so Very I thought true. maybe you might want to see close-ups of the individual ornaments to try and get an idea of what what our tastes are and what we decorate with. Yeah, that's a good idea, babe. Thanks. All right, you ready for day three? Day three, yeah. I am ready. Well, I already found it. You found it? You find it fast. I do. What do you think is going to be behind door number three? I think it's going to be in the shape of a candy cane. I think it's going to be a stocking. Ooh. All right, ready? Ready. Did you find it? I did. All right. You said candy cane? Oh. <laughs> Such a look. Ooh. We're wrong. We both of us both are wrong. wrong. But that's a cute little Christmas tree, isn't it? Look at him. He's just a little guy. A little Christmas tree. Cheers. Cheers. To Vlogmas Day 3. 3. 
how many Christmas trees does it take to get to the center of the 24 days till Christmas calendar? And one, two, <laughs> a three. Three. Mm. Mm -hmm. Here comes Lexi. Oh. I missed it. I tried to grab it. Oh, I almost drank that. There's no water in that. Mm -mm. All right. That's a dry water. What? <laughs> Should we start on the TV side and then work our way around to the bedroom? Sure. All right, perfect. Yeah, Larry, when did you add all these? Larry ended added a bunch of Christmas ornaments to the tree. Last when, night. Was I sleeping? No, you were over there. Oh, okay, I was editing. Yeah. I was editing, okay. I knew you added some, but I saw, I didn't know you added this many. So we're gonna start on this side here, which is the side closest to the TV and the fireplace. And I think we'll start from bottom to top and just work our way around. There's a lot of very nostalgic, um, very old Christmas ornaments on this tree. I'm very excited to show you guys. Larry has hung this toilet paper roll. <laughs> and what is the story time behind story paper, story toilet paper <laughs> roll? That was made in kindergarten. Very cute. Gillis Sweet school in Fairview Park, Ohio. Love it. And then this one? That was handmade by a co-worker from NASA Lewis Research Center, which is now Glenn Research Center in Cleveland. This one? I'm gonna get in trouble on that one because somebody handmade that too and I don't remember where or who. Well, it is handmade and you know that. This is so cute, it's crocheted. Yes. I love that. This was just a basic set of white polar bears that came from probably Michael's. Don't quote me though, but one of those department stores. Same with the star. This is unique. Where's this from? That is probably from the, definitely the 50s or 60s. I'm not sure which decade, but that's an old one. Mm -hmm. And then, um, how about this little ornament? I'm just kidding. <laughs> there was one I just saw. Oh, our pine cone. Pine cone. That would be from the 2019 Rockefeller Christmas tree in New York City when Larry and I went to go film a segment with Barcroft. So this is a the Buckeye State Ohio snowflake ornament, which the camera's not focusing well on it. The glass bell is from an estate sale, we believe. The Santa Claus is from, did we get this at Hobby Lobby? I think we might have. I think so as well. That reminds me of the Santa Claus that was on the front door of the Home Alone house in Home Alone 1. Yeah, that's so cool. Do you remember where this one is from? I do not. I don't either. Um, oh, Harry Potter. And then do you remember where this glass snowman is from? No, I don't. I do not either. Generic bulbs. Okay, joke with Hello Kitty. <laughs> Larry, you should tell. Uh, when we first met, we were going out to a lot of places and it seemed like every place we went to, there was something Hello Kitty to the point where I picked up on it and said, oh my gosh, it's Hello Kitty. Ah! <laughs> and it just seemed to snowball from there. And yep. So we have to have a Hello Kitty ornament because I happen to own a Hello Kitty <laughs> stocking <laughs> at my parents on the fireplace <laughs> at her parents' house. It's so funny. You would think that there was a little girl <laughs> running around the house, but no, no, that's Larry stocking. <laughs> so yeah, that's a running joke, and we love it. This little bird. That is vintage, probably 50s or 60s. The Nutcracker, which is my. Remember where he's from. He came in a set of three, probably Michaels or Bells or Yeah, something Hobby like that. Lobby. Same with the little owl up there. We have Bell from Beauty and the Beast, which are the mini Funko Pops, I yes. think. If you go to the hardware store and you have doubles, you can take Oh yeah, where you're drilling in the little hook. No, you don't even have to drill it. The the hook is a self threading. And you can put twist it in it. the yeah, twist it in the top and then put the hook on it and it goes right on the tree. It's perfect size. Very fun. Okay, gold key. Don't remember. The reindeer is from 
Mansfield Reformatory where we got married, but did we get that at the Christmas party that they usually have? Yes. Every year they have a Christmas party and Larry and I went together once and it was great. Oh my gosh, we should tell that funny story about the the, the time you and I went. She did it, it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, the lighting is terrible on this side. So we were having dinner at Mansfield Reformatory. What is that called? It's like the Great Hall. It's the Central Guard Room. The Central Guard Room. And it was kind of dim lit, dark, and we got spoiled with a really good dinner of like mashed potatoes, prime rib, with horseradish and a bunch of other stuff. So I took this huge spoonful of what I thought was mashed potatoes and I put it in my mouth. I was starving, I was hungry. Mashed potatoes are life. It was not mashed potatoes, it was freshly ground horseradish. And we were sitting at a table with a bunch of strangers so I couldn't just be like spitting it out because that's gross. If I, was, if, if I was with my family, I would have. Mm. So I'm like swallowing very slowly in like chunks this fresh horseradish. My eyes are crying and burning. And it was just, it was, it, you had to be there. Moment, <laughs> the cats. But anyways, so that kind of reminds me of that. The white acorn up there was on sale last year, 2019 at Hobby Lobby. Here is a protect and serve law enforcement officer since Larry was an officer. I showed you guys Harry. The Cardinal, I'm not sure where she is from, but reminds me of my grandma. My grandma loved Cardinals. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. This is a Larry ornament. Larry always has the best stories behind the ornaments because they're much older. But I don't remember that one. Aww, I was waiting for a good story. Now this story here. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. I got that from Santa himself. Santa gave it to you. Santa gave me that with a popcorn ball at the Fairview Movie Theater and the Fairview Shopping Center. Oh, well you're very lucky that Santa gave you an ornament. He, yep, he fixed me up good that year. That's very nice. This little reindeer, super cute little baby, has his little white spots. He is from Hobby Lobby. Oh, Larry, the Santa. That's another vintage ornament, I think, from the 60s. Sounds right. And then this one? This guy here is also 40s or 50s. They were called lanterns. I there like was it. probably about a dozen in a box. Very cool. Here is the Hogwarts Express. Another owl. I told you guys um, in yesterday's vlog there will be a lot of owls on this tree. Owls used to be my favorite. I was obsessed. Anywhere I saw an owl, I would grab it. I still love owls though, but I'm not like obsessively buying every owl that I see. Um, this is a favorite of both Larry and I's. We love this ornament. Do you remember where we got it? I don't. I don't either. Let's see if it's on the bottom. Oh, made in China. I don't know where it's from though. Did we get it at Bronner's? It might have been Bronner's, which is a Christmas museum or biggest Christmas store in Michigan, like yeah. the largest. Open maybe, 364. Maybe in the United States. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Open 364 days a year. They're in Frankenmuth, Michigan. If you've never heard of it, look it up. And if you get a chance to go there, go. Yeah, definitely. Yes. This came to me all the way from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. From Penny. From a, uh, someone that I'm a fan of, Penny. And I promised her that it would always hang front and center in a Christmas tree as long as I had it. And Very he's nice. still here. Very nice. And then we have the wreath, which again is probably a Hobby Lobby or Bronner's Christmas Tree Museum or store. And then the nest was a Hobby Lobby find from 2019 on sale at Cracker Barrel, not Cracker Barrel, Hobby Lobby, and then there is a green. Looks like a disco ball. Ornament way up there. It's made out of plastic, and it's also the same vintage as the. <laughs> <laughs> Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Somebody swatting the bells. <laughs> what are you doing, Nuna? Uh huh. <laughs> Anyways, the disco ball. That's the same vintage as the one of these guys. Oh, okay. Okay, we've made our way to this corner of the tree. We're gonna start from the top and work our way down again. That's Ooh. the same acorns. We have my gold and white feathers hanging back there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys didn't see this one last yesterday, whatever day. <laughs> I keep my day straight. <laughs> Why is it in focus? There it goes. So we had this made. Did we have it made or did somebody have it made for us? But anyways, that's our Larry and Mindy 
um, cute wife and groom. Married September 3rd, 2016. For some reason I'm thinking Bronner's again. Yeah, probably. And then we have a gold, oh, the lion. What's the lion? Uh, the lion is a, um, came in a set that, if you remember the bird that we showed you just a few minutes earlier, that was yeah. part of the, there was a lion, a bird, a penguin, um, maybe a donkey, and I forget the other ones, but I think I just have the lion and the penguin. And what about, I see this crochet. Uh, that was, it's not crochet, it's some kind of plastic thing that you you put the yarn into. I forget what it's called. I actually made that. I'm seeing a Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. He originally had a, a wall, but the wall has disappeared over the years, but he's probably from the 70s. And Santa. Santa is another one that's old. Oh, he's glowing. Yeah, you. Uh, he's got a hole in the back and you put him over one of the lights. Oh, that was smart to put him over the twinkle light. Yeah. That's cool. And oh, how cute. Okay, Larry. That is a hummingbird made with a golf tee. And someone whittled a, a stick and, and made that little guy. Mm-hmm. That is Belle. Mm-hmm. Again, a Funko Mystery Mini. Mm -hmm. I just put one of those things from the hardware store on. Another nutcracker. Nutcrackers are my favorite. Now, this guy is 50s or 60s. The little snowman. Mm-hmm. He's got his... his Oh, like a bow tie. Oh, yeah, a scarf. A bow tie. And the little hole on the side, you take one of those um, small um, candy canes. And he's a candy cane holder. Oh, cute. I see a Santa Claus with a baseball. That was my brother's who lived in Las Vegas. He was a huge baseball fan. Very nice. Mr. and Mrs. 2016. Generic. <gasps> Fragile. Fragile. <laughs> My mom got Larry this, right? Yep. Um, that is from A Christmas Story. Here is another Ohio State Reformatory, which is where we got married and where Larry was a board member. And then we have this little guy, which is Larry's. A little squirrel. He's probably from the 70s. Very adorable. Uh, and what else is down here? I think that might be close to uh, it. We got, we got this one. We got this little kitty here. Oh yeah, that we got basically, well not basically, we got it because it's a little mini Lexi kitty. And I think that, oh no, we've got Merry Christmas. And there's uh, another little Lexi kitty with a ball of yarn. <gasps> oh, I missed that. We need to find some Lunas. Yeah, we have to get some Luna. Some Luna kitty. All right, so there is our last and final Lexi kitty with pink yarn and sh the little cat ornament is holding it in her mouth. It's very cute. Said everything. That fabulous looking ornament I handmade in, I believe it was third grade, at Gill Sweet School in Fairview Park, Ohio. I wonder if I have any ornaments that I made. It's amazing that you still have them. Your ornaments that you made when you were a child. Yeah, I always had to hang the toilet paper roll at the uh, bottom of the tree way in the back. <laughs> well, I didn't make him do that. No. That was not me. No. <laughs> oh, I didn't show you guys that owl. We missed this owl. He's cool. He's got almost real feathers on him. Yeah, he's quite different looking. Well, I like they're real, but they look like feathers. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, they're cool. And I think I am going to end this vlog here. Good vlog, Mink. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're welcome. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.